In round nine, start with three chain stitches. Then work set of six double crochets, one double crochet increase for six times. Finally, join this round with a snip stitch. First, work three chain stitches. Yarn on the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Continue to work two more chain stitches. Then work six double crochets. Yarn on the hook first. Insert hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Yarn on the hook. Pull through first two loops. Yarn on the hook again. Pull through the remaining two loops. This one double crochet. Mark the first stitch. Continue to work 5 more double crochets in the same way. Next, one double crochet increase, which means working two double crochets in the same stage. Work 6 double crochets and 1 double crochet increase as one set. Finish success in total. Keep working the rest of 5 sets. Work 6 double crochets and 1 double crochet increase as one set.
Okay, we have demonstrated the two sets here. Please finish the rest of four sets by yourself. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Six sets are finished. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 9 is done. In round 10, start with one chain stitch. Then work for the 8 some crochets through front loops only. Finally, join this round with a slip stitch. First, work one chain stitch. Pay attention here. A regular stitch has two loops. The one close to us is a front loop. Insert from the front and out from the middle to work the single crochet. Insert the hook through the front loops only to work one single crochet in each of the stitches. Finish 48 single crochets in total. Remember to mark the first stitch. Let's continue to finish the rest of some crochets through front loops only. We have demonstrated the eight some crochets here. Please finish the rest of four some crochets in the same way by yourself. Finally, end with one slip stitch. In round 11, we need to change to white yarn. In round 11, start with three chain stitches. Then work three double crochets in each of the 48 stitches. Finally, Join this round with a snip stitch. Take out the white yarn. In order to show the stitches more clearly, we'll use other colored yarn for demonstration. Please refer to the stitches, ignoring the yarn's color. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Work three chain stitches first. Hook the yarn through the loop on the hook. 
place the yarn tail behind the fabric and press it with the fabric. Three chain stitches are done. Work three double crochets in each of the 48 stitches. Work one double crochet in the first stitch. Yarn hook. Insert hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then yarn hook. Pull through first two loops. Yarn hook again. Pull through the remaining two loops. That's one double crochet. Mark the first stitch. Then work two more double crochets in the same stitch. Three double crochets in the same stitch are finished. We need to repeat it for 48 times in total. Work three double crochets in each stitch as one set. Keep working 47 more sets. We have demonstrated the three sets here. Please finish the rest 45 sets by yourself. Work three double crochets in each stitch. Forty-eight sets are finished. Remove the marker. Finally, one slip stitch. Insert hook into this marking stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Then pull the first loop through the second loop. OK. Fasten off and weaving end. Break yarn. Pull the yarn tail out. Break the brown yarn inside. The roof is completed.